Hey, what is going on guys? It's Hickory K here and today we are back with another episode of our Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Permadeath Skyrim Challenge. And uh, we're here on episode 2 and um, yeah, we just made it to Whiterun. And while we're here, we're just going to pick all the all the ingredients from around Whiterun. Because there are quite a few within Whiterun itself. And alchemy is going to be a lifesaver when it comes to um, when it comes to actually like surviving and doing good damage um, within this challenge because legendary difficulty is tough on its own, let alone survival mode. And then on top of that, the permadeath and not being able to load saves. Alright, while we're picking flowers here, I'm just going to take a moment to say that a very small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you do like this content and want to see more like it in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would help me out an absolute ton and uh, it's totally free and you can always change your mind. So thank you very much. Alright, with that out of the way, I also want to mention that the most liked comment in uh, the most liked comment in the comment section of this video, uh, I will do in the next episode. Uh, so, whether you want me to join the Dark Brotherhood, if you want me to join the College of Winterhold, if you want me to punch a guard, if you want me to find a specific item, whatever you would like for me to do, I will do. If your comment is the most liked comment on this video. Okay. Alright. We're just going to continue picking some ingredients around here. There should be a lot of ingredients around Whiterun that you guys can find. Um, mostly Blue Mountain Flowers and a lot of Lavender as well. Um... And over by the Hall of the Dead, there is a decent amount of Nightshade, which is nice. Okay, so these are some really important ones here, the Nightshades. You'll want to collect as many Nightshades from here as you can find. Um... Looks like I got about four. Not entirely sure how many they're supposed to be. Four feels a little low, but that's all I found, so. Oh, there's five, okay. Six, seven. Okay, that seems a bit better. Seven. Seven nightshades there, you're definitely going to want those. And, I mean, that should be, um, a pretty good majority of the ingredients. Oh, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten nightshade, at least. Which is even better. Alright, and then there's a few more important ones here. The nightshade is a very, very important one for you guys to grab. And... Uh, the Hanging Moss as well is pretty important, so we'll grab that. There's some Hanging Moss right here. And then also right here. Okay. And then one more super important ingredient here. Up the stairs here, and in this little lake here, you're gonna want all of the Nordic Barnacle Clusters. One, there should be eight, I believe, two. Three. Four. Five, six. Seven and 
All right. The Nordic Barnacle Clusters are going to come in handy combined with some other ingredients. Um, the Salmon Row I mentioned in Episode 1, uh, that's not great. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I could just make him carry that stuff, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Alright. So, that's not bad so far. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so I, once I've made enough money, before my ma and da passed, I told, I met one of the caravan leader. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Okay, so that was just lucky that she was there. I do like getting that quest done and over with. Um, we need to bring a mammoth tusk to Isolde. What's the meaning of this interruption? Um, and I'm going to ask Barangar here if he's the only wizard in Whiterun. Which gets him to give us a quest to deliver frost salts to Arcadia. Which is good, because after that, Arcadia will let us sort of rummage through her stuff, her uh, shop. You're not supposed to be in here. All right, so we snuck into the Jarl's quarters here um, to grab that mammoth tusk so that we can give it to you, Zelda. Um, so that's pretty nice. Oh, Alright. I'm not really interested in doing this quest at the moment, so... We're just going to kind of leave here. I'm gonna try to catch you, Zelda. There she is. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit, thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. Maybe. As promised. Let me show you a thing or two about bargain. All right, speech increased. We take those. Little girl, have a gold piece. Thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. All right, so our speech right now is at 25, so the deals we're going to get on all of our loot that we're trying to sell is going to be much... Mm, that's too bad. How long does uh, Gift of Charity last? One hour of IRL time? We're just going to wait till business hours. I waited one hour by accident. My bad. There we go. Into Arcadia's Cauldron first. And we're going to deliver the frost salts. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. I do. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And now we have access to a lot of the stuff in Arcadia's Cauldron here. Not all of it, some of it's still stealing, so just be careful when you're taking things. Don't just take everything willy-nilly. Make sure it's not considered stealing. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Okay. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. All right, some frost Miriam, elves ears, uh, juniper berries, ice wraith teeth. Be careful with the ice wraith teeth; they're stealing. 
didn't mean to take those. <laughs> I got lucky. I got very lucky. Alright. Glow dust. Scales. Death bell. More frostbite venom. And some lavender. Okay. Get away from me. Hey, don't don't talk that way to me. Alright, so here we are. We're gonna do some alchemy. And yeah, we're just gonna brew these up. Basically all I care about at the moment is just the um just the value of the potions. Not really interested in the effects at the moment. Um, what am I looking for here? Spider eggs. There we go. Alright, we're 21 already. Let's go ahead. Next one. There's going to be Creek Cluster, River Betty, and Salt Pile. Blue Darkwing, Glow Dust, and Nightshade. Um, next we have Blue Mountain Flower, Hanging Moss, Mountain Hanging Moss, actually. Yes. Um, uh, I'm going to say the Marquardy Bowls. Uh, okay, Riverbody Salt Pile and Tap Reach. Alright. We'll do that for now. And I just want to sell all the stuff that I'm, all the potions that I'm not going to use. Which is these power potions for the most part. Okay, she's broke. Okay. Uh, is there any specific ingredients that I'm looking for here? Not really. No. Wheat is really good. Okay, I'm gonna go with some blue butterfly wings and wheat. JK. I meant blue mountain flower, not blue butterfly wing. But now my wheat's gone. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, give me some wheat, please. Take a look. Thank you. I meant blue mountain flower and wheat, guys. I promise. Then. I dabble. Farewell. Blue mountain flowers. <laughs> uh, whoops. Their fortify health and restore health both. Which are powerful to have. <laughs> That's all I was trying to demonstrate there. Um... I'm at 600 gold. Not a bad start. I'm gonna go talk to Bellathor. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking. Every some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Selling. I'll sell that even. Everything I'm not using, essentially. Uh, I'll keep the invisibility. Um, I don't need to keep any of the alcohol. I'm not going to drink it. Um, Flawless Emerald. Yeah, I forgot I had that. Um, all right. We're up to about 1200. That's not bad. Still here. I'll show you what I know. All right, so I'm going to ask him to train me and then I'm going to trade some things with him. Want me to carry? And take the gold back. And then I'll ask him to train me. Oops. I'll show you what I know. Trade some things. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't go back home. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. I'm right behind you. What do you want me to carry? I want my gold back. And then train me to be better alchemy, archery rather. What is archery? My controls are like not working. I mean, I can do more than what I was, I guess. Can do them all. Still get your gold back. Yeah. All right, there we go. I'm gonna level up. I might have over leveled. I can't level up. I'm silly. 
Um, because you have to sleep to level up in survival mode. So, uh, I guess we're going to bed. Ooh, more Tundra Cotton, nice. And, uh, that was why we chopped the firewood in episode one. Uh, was for this reason here. I have firewood to sell. Thank you very much. So I got some, I got nice 30 gold for no reason, and a bed that I don't have to pay for. Um, I'm gonna sleep for, I don't know, four hours maybe? We level up, which is nice. We're gonna go stamina. Ooh, we leveled up twice. We're gonna go stamina twice. Um... I'm gonna go sneak and archery, I think. Those are gonna be our best bets here. I am hungry. So we're gonna use the cooking pot to make some food. And cabbage stew gives 380 hunger points back. So we're just gonna spam cabbage stews. Or cabbage potato soup. They all give the same. For hunger. All the stews. They all restore 380. Um, cabbage stew takes the least to actually make, so... I would, I mean, suggest you do that, but... And I should have to eat two of these. Ooh, three of these. Okay. Um... Not ideal. You want a drink? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Please, no more questions. I didn't ask you any questions. <laughs> All right, and actually now, since we did the firewood, we're friends with her, so we can take a bunch of stuff as well. Um. So see what you can take. Um, don't steal anything accidentally, because that would be silly. The blankets still need to be washed. Day oh, yes, of your death, we will drink. Uh, grilled leeks, baked potatoes, any cooked food is just amazing to, to hide your hunger over without having to waste your salt piles. Salmon steak. Salmon steak is the most efficient, most weight efficient compared to the hunger it gives you. So salmon steak is really good. Um, we could also do this mammoth tusk for Isolde, but we already did the other one, so. Yeah, anyway. We can get out of here now. And we can make our way... Um, is there anything specifically that we want to do right now? Mm, for some free garlic, we could help Carlotta. Uh, I don't think I care to do that at the moment. Um, I'm actually gonna talk to Vandel, do some more free training. And I think that we will, just because then I can put a point into my alchemy, Come on in. Just or Take a seat and get the cold out. is alchemy really what I want to put my stuff into? I might go archery again. Probably just more damage for now. Uh, I'll do the zoom. Uh, yeah, okay, we still don't have a bow. You might think that could be problematic. You're putting all your points into archery and you don't have a bow. You're right. That's the first thing I would like to say. <laughs> you are correct. Um, but I have a solution for that. And the solution for that is... Going up to your Vasker here in Whiterun. 
the companion's training hall. And go on downstairs to the living quarters. You can ignore the people fighting. It's just a classic tavern brawl. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Alright. And we're going to go into Ayala the Huntress's room, which I believe is right here. Yes, it is. Close the door behind you a little bit here. Uh, Pandel, stop. <laughs> And we have an expert display case. I have six lockpicks, and that's it. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, one down. Beautiful. Here is my elven bow. And I will save that. It's a free skill up as well, because it's uh, an archery skill book. Oh, lots of ice right teeth. Cool. Okay. You know I like hammers and axes. Are they slow? I can hit it out before you have one swing. Let's test that out sometime. All right. Now we're out of here. That was pretty smooth. We broke one lockpick, but that's not the end of the world. And now we have a bow. I don't think we have any arrows. Uh, now that I think about it. Nope. But. Um, there's a solution for that as well. Not sure what the best solution for that is. The safest solution for that is going to be me going to solitude, I think. But overall, um, for now, we're going to leave that episode, this episode here. So, again, as a reminder, the most liked comment on this video, I will do, regardless of what it is. So, um, yeah, uh, that's just your your reminder to leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to do, and uh, I will do it if it's the most liked one. So, um, yeah, we're going to end the video. I, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.